Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, today we're gonna do a Ruger MPR video. Okay, so uh, I've done lots of videos on this Ruger MPR. Uh, this is my most accurate AR-15. It's the one that hits the half inch groups at 100 yards the most often. I've got other ARs that hit half inch groups, but you know, if you, you gotta kind of look at averages, this one seems to hit the half inch groups the most often, okay? Um, so normally there's the, uh, the, the scope that lives on this is the uh, uh, Primary Arms PLX Compact uh, 1 to 8. Um, however, I'm trying that out on, on a Palmetto with a 16 inch barrel. This has the 18 inch barrel. So I'm, I'm just trying it out for a couple of months to see how I like it. Uh, so what I did is I put the Holosun 510C and a magnifier on this, uh, which is kind of like my standard, you know, my standard setup for general purpose ARs. Um, and, uh, you know, like I said, usually I've got an LPVO on this, so it has to be a little bit heavier. But with this setup, yeah, this thing is quite maneuverable. So it's like, wow, it's like, it's like you know, it's very easy for me to uh, forget that I have an 18-inch barrel here um you know uh, you know rather than a 16 because it, it almost feels like a 16 almost not quite um the Ru the ruger mpr does have a heavier um a heavier um handguard it has picatinny all the way across the top so that does add a little extra weight compared to like if you have a, a hybrid rail um so i've uh been you know, just playing around with different configurations on this uh playing around with the with the um uh with the flip up sights um, and, and I've talked about this in the past where I, uh, um, you know, I, I put them here and here because I keep a magnifier in the back and the magnifier is something that I use all the time. So the magnifier gets priority. It, I, magnifier has, you know, eye relief, eye relief issues. So this goes on first, red dot goes in front of it. And then whatever else we got left is where we put stuff. Um, normally I actually, normally I pull back my front sight a little bit here because I put the a light up here however with this the way I'm gonna if I stay with this I'm gonna actually put the light here actually let me, let me go get the light let's take a look and see how that looks give me a second so yeah I just threw a light on there and I, I, I don't like it uh because what happens is it's this basically too much of the light goes into this so I'm gonna switch these two up uh the reason why I thought of maybe trying it this way uh, is because this is a, a longer barrel and you know like when I grip this this is where my thumb basically wants to be so if I flip these around now I really got to stretch out my hand further out there but I mean I, I'll be able to reach it um, but actually you know let me pause it again let's try it out <laughs> all right so I flipped it around. It just wasn't, you know, it, it, it just took me a split second to figure out to, to see it. It just wasn't going to work. So vi this works better. I um, mean, to make this light work, I mean, I do have to go forward a little bit. Okay. But I can definitely make that work. I need to get the, deploy the backup sights. Got my backup sights there. Fold these down. Now, these are the, the plastic Magpul ones. Um, I haven't used these, like, in years. Like, these have, like, literally been, like, sitting in the drawer of a drawer full of backup sites most of the metal for years now like maybe five plus years and i said you know what let's i was i was trying out different backup sites on these and i tried the metal ones i wasn't loving them i said you know what? how about these plastic ones and the, the plastic ones they are lighter right they're lighter than the aluminum ones so let, let's so let's give these a try so they are a little bit big and bulky but I mean that's more of a visual thing. They're they're pretty light, um, and you know, as far as the positioning, you just you know, it, 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 you keep an Allen key in your grip over here. So down the road, if you ever need to move these, you can move them. Okay, so so this is a good storage place, but at the same time, they are usable. Um, with this from this position here, I've been out to a hundred yards. I can hit a man-sized target at a hundred yards with this sight radius. Okay, uh, but it doesn't that doesn't need to be permanent i can always flip these things around here so that's a good place with for the light i mean when i'm looking through the uh um through the optic over here this looks like the the, the, the light looks like an a2 post so i'm kind of looking over it okay 
uh, if I flip up the sights, flip up sights, go over the light, that works out fine. Um, now, normally, the, uh, like with an 18 inch barrel, this isn't really something I would want to be using too much at night. So, normally, this light is going to live, let's say, like in your in your backpack or in a pouch or something and you would only put this on at night okay um and even like temporarily if you need to you can even put it here you know just just to bring back the weight a little bit so it's like in the daytime like if you wanted to have a light on the gun you could put it there so if you really needed a light i mean even though a lot of it is going to be lost to this if you really needed a light you at least you would get some light but this is easy. This is easy to move up when you need to move it up. So that's one of the reasons I, I love these pistol lights uh, because they're just so easy to move around as you need to move around. Okay, so so the, so I, I I don't spend too much time thinking about things about like the twenty percent stuff. I, I focus on the things that I would be using eighty percent of the time. Eighty percent of the time I'm going to be using red dot magnifier. Um, um, you know the light is like. Here's the thing, even at night, like you really don't want to use your light unless you absolutely have to because it gives away your position. You know, basically, all the bullets are going to go to, to the light, you know. Um, so that's why it's like even at night, uh, you know, you, you know, the, the light really takes low priority. It's really it's like if you're going into a basement or something where it's like pitch black and now, yeah, you absolutely have to see. You got to have a light because there's like zero light. Um, so that, that's kind of my, my, my thing with the light. Okay, so um, with the 18 inch barrel, I keep the, the sling goes there. I, was, I pull it back a little bit and then I put it here on the opposite side of the stock. Um, so yeah, like I said, normally because this gun is so accurate, uh, it can hit half inch groups uh, at 100 yards. I generally put an LPVO or certain type of a, uh, of, a, of a scope on it. But for now, I'm like, hey, you know what? Let's, let's, uh, Let's get a I guess get a red dot on here with the magnifier and play around with this for a couple of months and and, and see how I like it. Okay, um, I uh, I did zero this in with Tula. Okay, um, and the Tula shoots pretty accurate. I mean, I was getting like at, at 50 yards because I took a 50 yard zero. I had like a three quarter inch group. I was getting like three order three quarter inch groups um, at at 50 yards. And I said, you know, what? this ammo shooting pretty good. Uh, I took it out to a hundred yards. Um, so, uh, so here's the thing: it, it shot a little bit to the left, so I gotta re I gotta adjust this a little bit uh, because normally at a hundred yards, I really I want it impacting right here. So I'm gonna adjust up and a little bit to the right. So with the five one shots landed here. So with the five shot group, with using Tula steel case, I got a total of three inches. And usually I'll look at the best four out of five because that allows for either the ammunition one the you know the ammunition being bad or the uh, me pulling one of the shots so the four out of five i've got like two and one quarter inch group uh out of this ruger mpr with tula steel case so two and a quarter inch not bad at 100 yards okay with, with steel case um so yeah this is a good rifle now i if you go back and you look at my video from years ago when i first got this rifle it would not cycle uh, tool of steel case would not do it um, and uh, it, it was weird because I had spoken to other people that had uh, Ruger NPRs with the 18 inch barrels and uh, theirs was working fine so it wasn't until I think like maybe two years later or three years later when I, uh, I I think I broke a firing pin or something and then I really took a close look at all the parts and I noticed that one of the gas rings was missing from the bolt. So instead of having three gas rings, it only had two gas rings. And when I, I replaced all the gas rings and when I put the three gas rings in there, you know, plus the new firing pin, you know, ever since then it's been shooting the Tula steel case just, just fine. Um, so, you know, so that's the reason why it wasn't shooting the Tula steel case. Uh, but yeah, it, not only does it shoot it, but it actually ejects it like slightly forward. Like it'll eject it, it'll eject it at like at uh, uh, yeah at two at like two o'clock. Like not not even at not even at three o'clock. You know, like at two o'clock, maybe one thirty, someplace over there. So it's got plenty of gas. You know, the tool is has enough gas, it's providing enough gas to cycle the gun and eject around someplace around some someplace between one o'clock and two o'clock. Okay? Um, so, um, I haven't talked about this rifle in a while, 
And today, like I said, hey, let's get a red dot magnifier on this since the scope that normally sits on this is doing duty somewhere else. And, uh, and uh, yeah, so let's, let's try it out. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Drop some comments below, and I'll talk to you all soon.